Welcome to this series of videos about the sound effects our drumming peers used 100 years ago. In the late 1800s, occupations that were held by drummers and other musicians included vaudeville circuit, the minstrelsy, chautauquas, traveling circuses, and the moving pictures. At the turn of the last century, silent films, as we call them today, weren't called silent films at all. They were the only films, and so they were called moving pictures instead. In the first decade of moving pictures, music wasn't used at all. In fact, it was only when they decided to cover up the sounds of other things going on in the environment, like street traffic, ventilation fans, the audience itself, and the projection machine, which was quite noisy. Because it did such a great job of covering up those outside sounds, music became part and parcel of the moving pictures. The use of music changed when it was discovered that they could create drama and enhance moods by using specific song selections, and sound effects were used to punctuate the action. So whether the music was performed by a small orchestra or a solo pianist, percussion was one of the key elements in the moving pictures. There were many sound effect families that were used in the moving pictures. There were instruments in the whistle family, which included train whistles, steamboat whistles, and tugboat whistles. There were mechanical sounds like bells, klaxon horns, locomotive sound effects. Animal imitations like bird calls, dog barks, and horses hooves. Plus sounds from nature like wind, the rain, and thunder. In his book, Radio Live, Television Live, Robert Mott told about the nine elements of performing that were critical for a percussion sound effect artist. Speed, rhythm, harmonics, timbre, pitch, volume, sustain, attack, and decay. It was important that the percussionists chose the right instrument at the right time and performed in the right way in order to match the action on the screen. In the segments that follow, we will cover a wide range of percussion sound effects used originally in moving pictures and vaudeville, and later on in radio and television. As a bonus, I'll be joined by my friend William F. Ludwig III and his grandfather's collection of sound effect instruments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.